at Farback Sugar Cookie, coming to the half on top, lighting. Why were we us hanging a second? Provisions to win, racing third. They were by that half. One minute flat, and they're into the turn now. Driving to the five eights. Lighting shows the way. Provisions to win up along the inside second. On the outside, why worry us? Hangs a third. He's back to second again. Still game as they drive on up the back stretch to the three quarter pole. Lighting and why worry us? Provisions to win. Locked in third at the rail. Noble chance. Three wide. Racing on a strong fourth. 131 and 1 by the three quarter pole. Top turn. It is still lighting. Why worry us? Still tough and still hanging. Right there, second. And provisions to win. Racing a third. Noble chance is fourth. Sit and wave now. Fifth, second bell. They swing for home. Lighting with the lead. Why worry us? Still game and hanging. Second. Provisions to win on the inside. Third, but lighting wins it. Lighting. Why worry us? Provisions to win, noble chance, tight between second bell and sit and wave, then noble chance and still to come, sugar cookie, time for the mile. The four is four men only, owned by Clifford Garland of Carboneer, Newfoundland. Now the starters for the tenth race. And behind the gate, gate is moving, we approach the top of the stretch, seven starters. Township, Foxy Lady, Doug Beckwith, W.W. Mike Campbell, What a High Hope with Jill Barrio, For Men Only with Sean Shannon, Calgary Flutie and Steve Mahar, After the Laughter with Brian Moore, No Ordinary Joe with Al Jones, Here They Come. There, off for Men Only, out for when he grabs the top of What a High Hope, racing a second, in along the rail, W.W. moves up. He's now second. For men only, takes him into the turn. W.W. racing second. What a high hope. Has a third at the rail now. Township Foxy Lady. That is Calgary Flutie after the laughter. And no ordinary Joe trailing as they drive on to the quarter. And for men only, pacing on top. He's leading by three and a half lengths as they go racing on by the quarter in 28 and 2. Get at the top turn for men only. Well on hand and pacing a breeze. And W.W. racing second. What a high hope is a third. Down to Foxy Lady. Calgary Flutie's on the move. So is after the laughter. New Ordinary Joe trails. And they come to the half. And it's for men only. Cutting it out. He's in top by two and a half. W.W. and what a high hope. And for men only. The leader by that half. It 58 and two. End of the turn, they drive to the five-eighths. Four men only, W.W. sitting second. What a high hope is third. Calgary Flutie fourth. After the laughter, no ordinary Joe and now Township Foxy Lady. And they go to the three-quarter pole, strung out. Up front by four. It is for men only. What a high hope goes to second. Calgary Flutie three wide, driving on third, going on. 128 and 2 by the three quarters. Top turn for men only. Calgary Flutie now racing second. He's at the leader's wheel. He's collared the leader and pacing for the top. What a high hope racing a third after the latter fourth. Heading home, Calgary Flutie. Four men only. What a high hope charging up on the outside to second now. Calgary Flutie. What a high hope for men only. Up the line, Calgary Flutie. What a high hope. For men only, after the laughter, W.W., no ordinary Joe and township foxy lady. Time for the mile, 159 and 1. Eve Mahar. Horse 2 is Slam Bam Sam, owned by Romeo Boucher of Moncton. And Edmund Gay. Now the starters for this afternoon's featured 11th race. Moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch, six starters. Sweet Miss Marlowe, Steve Mahar, Slam Bam Sam, Gordy Hennessy, Mr. Rude, Steve Mason, R.B. Gladimir, Jill Barrio, Alma Hurst Hurricane, Lonnie Stokes, Armbro Foxy, Doug Beckwith. Here they come. There, 
here off for R.B. Gladimir, winging for the lead, and Slam Bam Sam racing for it on the inside. Head of the turn, Slam Bam Sam. Then R.B. Gladimir racing a second. As they race out by the eighth, that is Slam Bam Sam, and R.B. Gladimir takes cover along the rail. He's racing a second. Sweet Miss Marlowe has a third. Mr. Rude is fourth. On to the quarter pole. Facing on top, Slam Bam Sam, a length and a half, and he's the leader as they go racing up by the quarter in 30 seconds. Head of the top turn, Slam Bam Sam, R.B. Gladimer, Sweet Miss Marlowe, Mr. Rude, Alma Hurst Hurricane, Armbro Foxy, rounding the turn to the three-eighths. They swing through the stretch now and come to the half. Positions unchanged up front. Slam, bam, Sam. R.B. Gladimer, sweet Miss Marlowe. Here comes Mr. Rude. Armbro Foxy behind him. Alma Hurst Hurricane trails. And slam, bam, Sam, the leader. By the half in 101 and 3. End of the turn, they go to the 5 8 pool. Slam, bam, Sam. Then R.B. Gladimir, Mr. Rude, works up on the outside third. Sweet Miss Marlowe is fourth. Armbro Foxy, Alma, Hurst, Tory Kane, it's on to the three quarters. And a slam, bam, Sam. Mr. Rude is second. R.B. Gladimir back to second. Mr. Rude hanging a third. Sweet Miss Marlowe is fourth. Armbro Foxy, Alma, Hurst, Tory Kane, 130 and four by the three quarters. Top turn. It's a slam, bam, Sam. R.B. Gladimir, Mr. Rude. Sweet Miss Marlowe, Armbro Foxy, Alma Hurst, Tory Kane at the head of the lane. It is Slam Bam Sam, leading by two. Slam Bam Sam, R.B. Gladimir, Mr. Rude. And that's the way it is going to be. At the line it is Slam Bam Sam, R.B. Gladimir, Mr. Rude, Sweet Miss Marlowe, Armbro Foxy, Alma Hurst, Tory Kane. Time for the mile. Two minutes flat. Four is Beauty Control by Mel Blanchard of St. John. The driver is Brian Moore. And now the starters for the 12th and final are moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch. Aaron M. Down with Steve Mason. Woodmere Cheney, Rod Gogan. Touch of Blue with Steve Mahar. Beauty Control and Brian Moore. Hillview Kelly, Tim Mercetti. Sonny Mack with Gord Hennessy. Miss Speedy Spud and Lonnie Stokes and Markham's Tech, Jill Berrio. Here they come. They're off and Aaron M. Down and now Hillview Kelly takes the lead. Aaron M. Down in along the rail and racing second. The rail of Aaron M. Down off stride. On the run, scattering the field. The trailer's getting by all okay. They're on up the back stretch now, and Hillview Kelly steps out. Touch of Blue is racing second. Hillview Kelly by four. Touch of Blue second. Beauty Control is the third. Then Aaron M. Down racing fourth. Miss Speedy Spud, Sonny Mack, Woodmere Genie, Markham Tech, the quarter 29 and two. And they're into the top turn. Pacing out on top, Hillview Kelly but two. Touch of Blue racing second. Beauty Control has third. Aaron M. Down is racing fourth. Miss Speedy Spot is fifth. Then Woodmere Genie, Sonny Mack, Markham Stack. And through the stretch they come. We are racing to the half. Up front, Hillview Kelly. Then Touch of Blue is second. Beauty Control moving third. The half in a minute. And two fifths. End of the turn, they go to the five eighths pull. Pacing out on top, it is Hillview Kelly. Touch of blue and beauty control moving from third. Woodmere Genie off stride now trails. Up the back stretch for the three quarter pull. Hillview Kelly. Touch of blue racing a second. Beauty control. Miss Beatty Spud Sonny Mack is on the move. Aaron M. Down. Markham Stack. Woodmere Genie. 131 by the three quarter pull. It is Hillview Kelly. Touch of Blue looking good. Second closing in on the leader. And Sonny Mack is coming up big. He's racing on a strong third. Up the seven eights. They come swinging for home. Hillview Kelly. Touch of Blue and Sonny Mack is coming on. Hillview Kelly. Sonny Mack now coming to the top. And Gordy Hennessy's going to get his fifth winner this afternoon. He does with Sonny Mack. Hillview Kelly. Then Touch of Blue, Miss Speedy Spud. 
Beauty Control, Aaron M. Down, Markham's Tech, and Woodmere Genie. Time for the mile. 202 and 4, and hold all tickets. The inquiry sign is up. Ah, uh, the starters for the feature 10th race of the Hedley Jones Memorial. At the gate, the gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch. We have the field of five. The Black Rooster with Brian Moore. Odeby King with Vaughn Doyle. Twin B. John Boy with John Davidson. Sammy Motoring, Ron McConaughey, and what a high hope, Gio Barrio. Here they come. They're off the Black Rooster, taking them out of there, and what a high hope, up and out on the outside, head of the turn, the Rooster. What a high hope, up on the outside, racing on second. Oh, what a king is third, Twin B. John Boy fourth. Sammy Motoring trails fifth. They're up the back stretch, driving to the quarter, and the Black Rooster leads by two. What a high hope at the rail is racing second. Odeby King is third. That is Twin B. John Boy and Sammy Motoring as they race on by the opening quarter by the marker in 29 and two. Top turn, the Black Rooster, but two and a half. What a high hope is second. Odeby King is third. Twin B. John Boy fourth and Sammy Motoring trailing fifth. And they're by the three-eighths now and off the turn and through the stretch. Here they come, racing to the half. It's the rooster on top, and here comes Odeby King. Up on the outside, he comes to second, and he goes winging for the lead. The black rooster, but now Odeby King by the half and 101. They're out of the turn to the five-eighths. Odeby King is the leader. The black rooster racing is second. What a high hope is third. That is Twin B. John Boy and Sammy Watering, and they're by the five-eighths, and it's on to the three-quarter pole. Odeby King moves out. Late now of a five. What a high hope. Up on the outside, challenging in a second. And on he takes after the leader. The leader is Odeby King by the three-quarter pole at 130 at four-fifths. Top turn, Odeby King, and what a high hope. The Black Rooster racing third. Twin B. John Boy and Sammy Watering at the head of the lane. It is Odeby King but two and a half. Can what a high hope catch him? Heading home. The Odeby King and what a high hope is coming on. Odeby King and what a high hope comes on. As they come to the line, it is Odeby King. What a high hope. Twin B. John Boy, Sammy Motoring, and the Black Rooster. Time for the mile. Two, oh, two, and a three. Charters for the 11th, moving behind the gate. Gate is moving. Approaching the top of the stretch with Courageous Mod and Jimmy Smith. Township Buster, Lonnie Stokes. Northwood Sandy, Tim Mercetti, Becker, Drummond, Gordon Hennessy. West Pointer, Todd Trice. Miss Tahoe with Tony Watson. Hagus and Steve Mahar. Miss Speedy Spud with Brian Moore. Here they come. They're often stepping out, grabbing the top of his township buster. He's the leader. Courageous Mod is on the inside and racing fourth. They're of the turn township buster. And Courageous Mod racing his second. Driving up on the outside, racing third. It is North Wind Sandy. They're up the back stretch now, going to the quarter. And on the outside, facing up top township buster. Courageous Mod is second. And up on the outside and driving on goes North Wind Sandy. Racing on to second, he goes winging forward, he grabs the lead now. Opening quarter, 30 and 2. Top turn, Northwind Sandy. Township Buster, then Courageous Mod Hagas is racing a fourth. Becker Drummond now gets to fifth. West Porter racing sixth. Miss Speedy Spud and Miss Tahoe. And off the turn and through the stretch. Here they come, racing to the half. Up front with the lead, it is Township, or Northwind Sandy. He's the leader, and up on the outside comes Courageous Mott. Northwind Sandy, Courageous Matt Township, Buster. Hagas out follows cover, racing fourth. The half and two and four. Into the turn that drive to the five-eighths. 
north wind, sandy and courageous Vaughn. Then Township Buster, third of the rail. Hagas outside, racing on fourth. They go on up the back stretch to the three quarters, moving to the top from the outside, now Courageous Mod. North wind, Sandy. Hagas driving up from the outside, goes on to second, closing in on the leader as they go, racing on by the three quarter pole by that marker, 34 and one. Top turn, Courageous Mod. Hagas is strong on the outside, left on the leader now, racing second, North wind, Sandy is racing a third, and they come swinging home, the two leaders off by themselves on the inside, Courageous Mod. Hagas is strong on the outside and coming on. It is now Hagas grabbing the top, and Courageous Mod is going to be second at the line. It's Hagas, Courageous Mod, the Miss Speedy Spud, Northwind Sandy, Becker Drummond, West Pointer, then Township Buster and Miss Tahoe, the time for the mile to six. Gate is moving, and we're approaching the top of the stretch for the field of seven. There's Inverness Beauty and Brian Moore. Exeter, Romar, John Davidson. Bounding Basque with Jeff Lewis. Lonesome Billy and Steve Mahar. Get off the door with Jill Berrio. Lindale Lady with Lonnie Stokes. And Omaha Gambler with Charlie Price. A field of seven. Here they come. There, off and loads. Billy takes him out of there, up along the inside. Inverness Beauty racing forward. Two leaders neck and neck into the turn. Inverness Beauty on the inside. Loads and Billy on the outside. They battle neck and neck and nose to nose, and they race up by the eighth on the outside. Loads and Billy now moves out by a length. Inverness Beauty is racing second, get off the door. Has a third, Omaha Gambler racing fourth, bounding Basque is a fifth. Then we go to, by the quarter pole, in 30 and two fifths. Swinging into the top turn, facing out on top, it is Lonesome Billy. Blades by a length and a half, Inverness Beauty is second, get off the door. Racing third, Omaha Gambler out moving now from fourth. Bounding Basque is fifth as they drive on through the stretch and come racing to the half. Up front with the lead, it is Lonesome Billy and Venice Beauty. Omaha Gambler moves to third. Then in between horses, the half 102 exit of Romar. That is Bounding Basque, Lindale Lady. They're by the half in 102 and around the turn they go. Racing on to the five-eighths. Lonesome Billy off by himself. Now Omaha Gambler gets to second. Exeter Romer up on the outside. Is and now a third. Out of the three-quarters. Lonesome Billy's out by a sixth. And then Exeter Romer gets to second now. On the far outside. And driving on to third. Goes get off the door. 34 and three by the three-quarters. Pole top turn. Lonesome Billy. Exeter Romer get off the door. Bounding Basque now to fourth, Omaha Gambler fifth, then Lindale Lady in Benes Beauty. They come pounding for home and pacing with the lead. Exeter Romer. Lonesome Billy up on the outside. They're closing in on the leader. Bounding Basque getting through on the inside. Up on the middle of the track it is. Exeter Romer to win this and then Bounding Basque. Lonesome Billy. Then get out the door. Omaha Gambler, Lindale Lady, and Inverness Beauty. Time for the mile to seven and four. What do you have to see? Jay's last night with Ronald Wilson, Alfred Alfred, Steve Mahar, Constant Harrods, Rod Jameson, Ling Dufu, and Jill Barrio. Outside, Acton Board, and Danny Romo, and trailing Woodmere Rascal, Gary McDonald. Nine starters, twelfth and final. Here they come. Off stride. Jay's last night. They're off and leaving the line. Island Quentin and Alfred Alfred battling for the top. Moving up on the inside is Aaron M. Down as they drive into the turn. Island Quentin and Alfred Alfred racing for it. Aaron M. Down racing in third as they drive around the turn. 
In fourth is R.E.'s Dector, then Constant Herod's Ling Dufu, followed by Woodmere Rascal, then it's Acton Board and Jay's last night, and as they head to the quarter, Alfred Alfred has assumed command. Island Quentin racing in second, Aaron M. down third, the opening quarter, 28 and 2. Moving up on the outside, that's Ling Dufu. He drives up on the outside to third and looks for second as they drive around the turn. Heading to the three eights, it's Alfred Alfred Ling Dufu challenging on the outside second. Island Quentin racing third and they drive around the turn and driving through the stretch. Here they come for the half. Alfred, Alfred, Ling Dufu. Lays parked on the outside second. Island Quentin on the rail racing third. By the half, Aaron M down fourth. Constant Herods moves up fifth on the outside. The half and 59. Then it's R.E.'s Dector Acton Board. Woodmere Rascal and far back is Jay's last night. Into the turn for the second time. They hit the five eighths and Alfred Alfred, your leader by that marker. He takes them to the three quarters. Alfred, Alfred on the outside is Ling Dufu. Island Quentin caught in on the rail, racing third. Constant Herods has fourth. Aaron M. Down races fifth. They're by the three quarters. Alfred, Alfred, 129 and four. Into the turn, Alfred, Alfred, Island Quentin. Ling Dufu fading, now he's third. Constant Herods racing fourth up on the inside. Is Aaron M. Down, but they hit the seven eights. It's Alfred, Alfred. Here comes Island Quentin as they race through the stretch for home. Alfred Alfred Island Quentin on the outside. Ling Dufu racing third. It's Alfred Alfred Island Quentin coming on the outside. They're neck and neck and here they are. Alfred Alfred wins it. Then Island Quentin looks like Ling Dufu and Constant Herods. The others are E's Dector, Aaron M. Down, Acton Board, Woodmere Rascal, and Jay's last night. Time for the mile. One. 58 and 3. And parading back now, the winner of the 12th race, our final on the, the program, program of the day. It's an A division, division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes, stakes for three-year-old facing Colts, and it goes to number 5, Alfred Alfred. A uh, brown gold three by nightly blue chip, but a pink slipper she by landslide. Don't make any Fram of Moncton trained by Earl Fram. Steve Maher driving. Alfred Alfred is bred by Philip and Milton Jenkins. For Alfred Alfred, the Colt picks up his seventh win from 11 starts this season, winning tonight in 1.58 and 3. Top turn Tennessee Jet. Kristen's Curly lapped on the leader, moving up now. Omaha Gambler, third at the rail, looking for room to move. Flying Horace looking for room, coming up on the inside. They swing for home, Tennessee Jet. Kristen's Curly charging up a strong second. Omaha Gambler coming on. So is Flying Horace on the inside. Two leaders are neck and neck right to the line. And at the line, it is too tight to call between Kristen's Curly and Tennessee Jet. Then Omaha Gambler and Flying Horse for close time for the mile, 2.04. Claim a foul by Lonnie Stokes against Steve Mahar. Now the starters for the ninth race are at the gate, and the gate is moving. Ninth race starters behind the gate, and approaching the top of the stretch from the rail, there's Brown's LR with Charlie Price. Markham's Tech and Jill Berrio. San Cimarron, John Davidson. Tarport Sarabeth and Lonnie Stokes. Becker Drummond with Gordy Hennessy. Haggis and Steve Mahar. Whoop, there he is, Von Doyle. And from the outside, no Cara, Brian Moore. Eight starters for the ninth race. Here they come. They're off at a great start, leaving the line. San Cimarron racing for the top from the rail. Browns LR looking for room. And in between horses, Markham's Tech. They race into the first turn. That's San Cimarron racing for the front. Browns LR is with them as they pass the eighth. Markham's Tech is racing third. Up on the outside, fourth. No Cara. Then we go to Becker Drummond in fifth, followed by Tarport Sarabeth Haggis in the trailer as they head to the quarter. Whoop, there he is, and they head to the quarter with San Cimarron showing the way. Browns LR is second, 29 and four the opening quarter. 
That's No Kara Park, third on the outside. Markham's Tech is racing fourth, and they drive into the turn and head to the three-eighths. Up front and showing the way, it's San Cimarron, a length and a quarter. Brown's LR, and No Kara lays parked third on the outside as they tip off the turn and come racing through the stretch for the half and cutting it out. It's San Cimarron. Brown's LR and Haggis hangs third on the outside. Markham's Tech is fourth. Becker Drummond, fifth on the outside with cover. They hit the half in one minute and three-fifths. Then it's Tarport, Sarabeth. Haggis is on the move, and the trailer is whooped. There he is on the rail four, outside four, and they drive into the turn for the second time and race by the five-eighths. By that marker, it's San Cimarron, moving out now by two links as they head to the three-quarters. Browns, LR, and the rest are tipping out three wide. That's Becker Drummond, three wide coming to third. Markham's Tech to the inside, fourth. Haggis is four wide and on the extreme outside. Whoop, there he is. San Cimarron, 131 and three by the three quarters is still leading by about three. Driving into the turn, San Cimarron battling for second. Now Haggis shows second. Browns LR is racing third. Becker Drummond fourth. Whoop, there he is on the outside. But San Cimarron is the one to catch through the lane. San Cimarron, Haggis. Browns LR is third. San Cimarron, Haggis. Browns LR. Whoop, there he is, is coming on. So is Markham's Tech. And here they are. At the line, San Cimarron wins it, then Haggis and Markham's Tech, followed by Brown's LR. Whoop, there he is. No Kara. Becker Drummond, Tarport Sarabeth. Time for the mile, 2.03. 2.03. Race 10 is next. Eight starters in the 10th race. There are no. Now the starters for the 10th race. They're at the gate. And the gate is moving. Tenth race starters behind the gate, approaching the top of the stretch from the rail. What a high hope with Gilles Berrio. Time to fight, Tim Merzetti. Class in jig time with Steve Mahar. Brad Zyle and Brian Moore. Touch of blue and John Davidson. Savvy's advantage, Lonnie Stokes. Dynamite treasure with Vaughn Doyle and Bar Harbor, Gordy Hennessy. Eight starters, tenth race, and here they come. They're off. What a high hope from the rail racing for the top. In between horses is time to fight. That's Touch of Blue in the middle of the racetrack. Racing third and they drive into the first turn with what a high hope. Quickly pacing out to a length and a half lead. Time to fight has second as they pass the eighth with Touch of Blue racing third. That's Savvy's advantage on the outside fourth. Glass and Jig Time has fifth. Then Dynamite Treasure, Brad's Isle. The trailer is Bar Harbor as they make their way to the quarter and under a tight hold is your leader past the quarter. What a high hope. Two and a half lengths and 29 and four and they drive into the turn. What a high hope, two lengths now. Racing in second, time to fight. Touch of Blue has third. Outside fourth and parked is Savvy's advantage and they race by the three eights with class and jig time racing on the rail fifth and they're off the turn and through the stretch they come racing in front of the grandstand for the first time your leader remains what a high hope on top by about two lengths. Then it's time to fight. In second, Touch of Blue has third. They're by the half in 101 and four and they race into the turn again. It's what a high hope pacing out on top. Time to fight, and Touch of Blue has third. Savvy's advantage has been parked and hangs fourth on the outside. Class and Jig Time racing fifth. Brad's Isle moving sixth on the outside. Then Dynamite Treasure and Bar Harbor still trails, and they're up the back stretch now. To the three quarters, what a high hope. Two and a quarter lengths. Time to fight, and Touch of Blue is off the rail from third to challenge, and they're by the three quarters. One thirty-one and four. What a high hope. Opens his lead now. Three links. Time to fight and touch of blue. Brad Zile has come to fourth. Class and jig time is racing fifth. Driving by the seven eights. What a high hope with a healthy five length lead and here they come for home. What a high hope. Well in hand moves away from the field. Time to fight. Brad Zile on the outside is coming on. Touch of blue in between horses but up front. What a high hope and here they are. Then touch of blue Brad Zile. Followed by time to fight. Dynamite treasure. Then, class and jig time, Bar Harbor and Savvy's advantage. Time for the mile, 2.01 and 3. Pretty now are the starters for the 11th race. Featured race of the program. The
Now the starters for this afternoon's feature, the Sweetheart Pace. And behind the gate, gate is moving, approaching top of the stretch, there's Baker Who with Gord Hennessy, Sonny Mack and Brian Moore, Elgin with Charlie Price, West Pointer with Todd Treitz, and Mina's Accolade with Ricky Collins. Here they come. They're off and from the far outside. Mina's Accolade rushing for the top, but in between horses, Elgin. And up along the inside, pacing for the lead, it is Baker Who, but Elgin moves to the top. Baker Who is second. Mina's Accolade on the outside. She's racing third, backs off, gets a hold on the rail. Then it is Sonny Mack and West Pointer trailing, and they drive on up the back stretch to the quarter. Algen cuts it out. Blades a length and a half. Baker Who racing a second. Minus Accolade third. By the opening quarter, 30 and two fifths. They swing into the top turn. The leader is Baker Who, a length and a half. Then, or the leader is Elgin. Baker Who is second. Miles Accolade racing a third. Then it's Sunny Mac and West Pointer trailing. They spring off the top turn through the stretch. Here they come. They're racing to the half up front, cutting it up. It is Elgin. Has the best of it by two. Then Baker Who, and here comes Miles Accolade moving from third. Half 101 and one. Then West Pointer takes cover behind Minus Accolade, and Sunny Mac trails at the rail. Round the turn they go for the five eighths. Elgin still has his lead, but it's only a length and Minus Accolade at the leader's wheel, inching up on the outside. She's driving hard to second. Then it's a Baker Who, West Pointer, Sonny Mack going to the three-quarter pull, and they are by that marker now. They're neck and neck for the top, the three-quarters, 132. Top turn, the leader on the inside, Elgin by a nose. On the outside, Minus Accolade inching up for the top. Two leaders are nose to nose at Baker Who, moving up, racing third. Way he's swinging for home. Two leaders are neck and neck on the outside. Minus Accolade grabbing the top now. Sonny Mack coming up on the inside. Minus Accolade on the inside. Sonny Mack and on the outside. Baker Who with the line. It is Minus Accolade tight between Baker Who, Elgin, and Sonny Mack, and West Pointer was fifth. Time for the mile. 203. And the starters for the 12th at the gate. Moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving and they're approaching the top of the stretch. Pegasus Torpedo with Steve Mahar. Strike is rich with Ricky Armstrong. Tucson Sun with Elmore White. Red Rag Jean with John Davidson. Knotsford Maker Von Doyle. Spook and Jig Time with Wayne Mahar. Most Special Fella, Jill Barrio. L.F. Dorothy with Brian Moore. Here they come. They're off Strikers Fritz grabbing the top. From the far outside, Most Special Fella drives on. They are fanning up four wide into the turn. And along the rail, Pegasus Torpedo has grabbed the top and on the outside, Most Special Fella is now second, strike is rich, racing third as they race on by the eighth pole. Then Tucson Sun is a fourth, Knotsford Maker driving up fifth from the outside, Bren Rag Jean, LF Dorothy's on the move, spooking jig time, trailing as they go racing by the quarter, by that marker, 30 seconds flat. Driving into the top turn, Pegasus Torpedo has the best of it by two. Most special fella racing second up on the outside. Knotsford Maker Park hangs a third. Uh, Strikers Rich is fourth at the rail. They swing off the top turn now, and here they come through the stretch. They're racing to the half. Up front and cutting it out, it is Pegasus Torpedo. Then uh, most special fella racing third. Knotsford Maker hangs a third. Then strike as rich L.F. Dorothy. They were by the half, 102, and into the turn. They go racing now to the 5 eighths pole. Pegasus Torpedo shows the way, leads for two. Most special fella, second at the reel. 
on the outside, Knotsford Maker hanging third. Strikers Rich up on the inside, fourth. L.F. Dorothy out three wide, drives to fourth, is going on. She's now third as they drive to the three-quarter pool. L.F. Dorothy, fast as a fall, is now second. Wings four, grabs the top. 33 and 2 by the three quarter pull. LF Dorothy. And that's Tucson Sun strong on the outside. Not a second. Pegasus Torpedo racing a third. They come to the 7 eighths and they're by that marker heading home. LF Dorothy showing on top. Pegasus Torpedo and on the outside, Tucson Sun, most special fellow, Knotsford Maker. But up front, it's going to be LF Dorothy. She wins it. Then Tucson Sun. The initial intention was Steve Mahar, Sun Acton, Sean Shannon, Rox Nova with Charlie Ross, and from the outside, Wee Maud and Wayne Mahar. Seven starters for the sixth race. Here they come. They're off and living the line, both Honey Cone, Initial Intention, and Rox Nova all go racing for the top. On the rail, Honey Cone, in the middle of the racetrack is Initial Intention driving for the front. They race into the first turn with initial intention bidding for it, and they're by the eighth. Honeycone now races second. Rocks Nova on the rail in third. Sacraposi racing fourth. Then Sun Acton, KM Sparkle, and the trailer is Wee Maud as they race single file up the backstretch to the opening quarter, showing the way initial intention on top a length and a half by the quarter with Honeycone in second, the quarter in 32. Driving into the turn, they race to the three eights and cutting it out. Still initial intention. Honeycone and Rox Nova now off the rail to challenge from third. And Sacraposi follows in fourth as they drive into the turn and race by the three eights. Lots of action on the outside as we come down the stretch for the half. Initial intention with Rox Nova on the outside, bidding for the top. Sacraposi looking good with cover, third on the outside, and they're by the half with Rox Nova showing on top, past the half and 105 and two. Initial intention on the inside second, and Sacraposi racing third, and they drive into the turn for the second time. Honeycone has fourth, Sun Acton, KM Sparkle, and Wee Maud. They're by the five eights now, and up the back stretch they race to the three quarters and they fan out three wide. Initial intention, three wide, there goes Sacraposi. On to second, quickly bidding four and takes the lead. Sacraposi on top. Initial intention, Rox Nova fading third by the three quarters and 137 and two. Into the turn, Sacraposi on the outside. Initial intention back up on the inside to take the top again. Initial intention, Sacraposi on the outside second. Honeycomb is third, KM Sparkle has come to fourth and they're neck and neck again for the top around the turn and here they come for home. Initial intention, Sacraposi on the outside. They're still neck and neck. KM Sparkle comes to third. Initial intention now. Stepping out. It's going to be initial intention, and here they are. Initial intention wins it. Then Sacraposi and KM Sparkle. We Maud and Honeycone. Rox Nova. Sun Acton. Time for the mile. 209 and 4. Now the starters for our seventh race. Moving in behind the gate, and the gate is moving, and we're approaching the top of the stretch for the field of eight. Ordinary Joe and Al Jones, Double Chats, Brian Moore, Bellman Stream with Gilberio, Tough Ender, Steve Mahar, Miss Tahoe, John Davidson, Township Buster, Lonnie Stokes, Bar Harbor, Gord Hennessy, Radiant Skipper, Tim Mercetti. Here they come. They're off, no ordinary Joe, grabbing the top, and then Tough Fender winging for it, and he has it. Head of the turn, Tough Fender shows the way. No ordinary Joe, back up along the inside. They're neck at neck right now, and Tough Fender again. He takes them by the eighth pole. No ordinary Joe, racing a second as they go on up the back stretch. Noble Chance racing a third. Then it is Township Buster. He's racing fourth. Up on the outside, Radiant Skipper moving on to fourth. And no ordinary Joe back on top again. As they go by the quarter, 30 of four. They drive into the top turn, no ordinary Joe. And in between horses, Noble Chance to second. 
at three wide. Radiant Skipper third, Tough Ender fourth at the rail. Then it's Township Buster. Then they come swinging off the top turn, now driving on through the stretch, racing to the half. New Ordinary Joe and Noble Chance are battling neck and neck. Then Tough Ender, Radiant Skipper. Then in, along the rail and racing fifth, it is Township Buster. The half 102 and four, then Bellman's Dream is on the move. Miss Tahoe at Bar Harbor Trails. Round the turn, the two liters still. At it, neck and neck and nose to nose. No Ordinary Joe on the inside. Noble Chance is on the outside. And they stay that way as they drive out of the back stretch, racing for the three-quarter pole. Noble Chance, No Ordinary Joe, and tipping out three wide. There goes to Fender. Then Township Buster now fourth, Miss Tahoe. Moving up along the inside, she gets to uh, four, three quarters, one, thirty-four, and three. The three leaders battling neck and neck around the top turn. On the rail, no ordinary Joe, and three wide. Tough Ender, Noble Chance starts to fade a bit, he's third. Miss Tahoe moving up on the inside, looking for room, she's fourth. They swing for home, it's no ordinary Joe, Tough Ender. Miss Tahoe locked in, and coming now in between horses, Driving to the line, no ordinary Joe, Miss Tahoe, coming on of Township Buster. No ordinary Joe, Miss Tahoe, Township Buster, Tough Fender, and Belden's Dream were tight. Time for the mile, 207 and 2. Now the starters for the eighth race, moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving, we're approaching the top of the stretch, eight starters. There's Jesse LaBelle and Gord Hennessy. Savvy's at Battage and Jill Barrio. Nailers Bobby, Doug Beckwith. Harbor Sun, John Davidson. Northwind Sandy, Tim Mercetti. Mystic Ideal, Charlie Price. Minus Accolade, Rick Collins and Sonny Mac with Brian Moore. Here they come. They're off Savvy's at Battage. Brings forward, has the lead and driving up on the outside. Northwind Sandy. He's a challenging a second. End of the turn it is. Savvy's advantage, Northwind is Sandy. Jesse LaBelle is up the rail and racing a third. Driving up on the outside, Minas Accolade from fourth. She drives on to third. She goes winging for the top, but Savvy's advantage has it. Minas Accolade now gets to second. Lopped on the leader, bidding for the top. It is Savvy's advantage, now it's Minas Accolade. By the opening quarter, 31 and 1, two leaders neck and neck into the turn. Minus accolade now. Savvy's advantage is second. Sonny Mac comes up on the outside now, racing a third. Northwind Sandy's fourth at the rail. Then Jesse LaBelle outside follows cover. He's fifth. Nail is Bobby Mystic Ideal. And Arbor Sun. They come through the stretch, racing to the half, four in and four out. And the two leaders at it neck and neck. Savvy's advantage on the inside, minus accolade outside, and they go racing on by the half. 105 into the turn for the second time. They drive to the 5 8 pull. Savvy's advantage. Then on the outside, challenging second, minus accolade. Northwind Sandy at the rail is third. Sonny Mack dipping out three wide now. Rushing on from fourth. He goes on. He's third. Going on as they drive on to the three quarter pull. Savvy's advantage and Sonny Mac and Northwind Sandy. Then on the outside, Jesse LaBelle, minus accolade spent. Then it's Nail as Bobby, Mystic Ideal, Harbor Sun, three quarters, 138. Top turn, Savvy's advantage holding his lead a length and a half. Northwind Sandy up along the inside to second. Sonny Mac on the outside, third, Jesse LaBelle, Nail as Bobby. They swing for home at Savvy's advantage. Northwind Sandy charging up strong, second coming on, but it's going to be Savvy's advantage. He holds to win this one. Savvy's advantage, Mystic Ideal is strong on the outside, tied between him and Northwind Sandy, then Jesse LaBelle. Time for the mile, to eight and three. Starters for the ninth race are at the gate. Gate is moving. Race nine has eight starters. Portrait of Janice with Rod Gogan. R.E.'s Joey and Charlie Miles. Markham's Tech, Ricky Collins. Drip Drop with Lonnie Stokes. 
Echo Ranger and Steve Mahar. I've got control, Leroy Vincent. P.H. Dougie with Gordy Hennessy, and from the outside, Tetran Express, John Davidson. H. Starters, ninth race, here they come. They're off and leaving the line. R. East Joey goes driving to the front from the outside as I've got control and getting to the rail third. Markham's Tech, that is moving up on the outside fourth. Tatran Express, he's now third, now second, and they drive around the turn. I've got control, it takes him by the eighth. Tatran Express on the outside second. Racing third along the rail, it's R. East Joey as they head to the corner. Markham's Tech is racing fourth. Echo Ranger fifth. Then it's Portrait of a Janus. Drip drop, and the trailer is P.H. Dougie. They pace the quarter in 30 and 2, and they drive into the turn, heading to the 3 8 I've got control on top, a length and a half. Tatran Express racing in second with R. East Joey third. Echo Ranger outside from fourth as they drive by the 3 8 pole. Portrait of Janus moves with cover fifth, and they race off the turn and come driving through the stretch for the half. And I've got control has opened up a three length lead on the field. Tatran Express is second, back two lengths to R. East Joey in third. Outside fourth, it's Echo Ranger. They pace the half, 102. Then Portrait of Janus, Markham's Tech, Drip Drop, and P.H. Dougie, and they drive into the turn for the second time. Two, the five eighths, I've got control, is in control. Tatran Express, now Echo Ranger gets to third, and they're by the five eighths, and they head up the back stretch to the three quarters. I've got control, they've caught the leader though. Echo Ranger has seen most of the dash on the outside, and he races on second, challenging for the top now. Tatran Express is third, three wide. That's Drip Drop rushing up on the outside, looking for fourth. 135 and two, the three quarters, and Echo Ranger now moves to the front. Tatran Express, I've got control, fading third. On the outside, three wide is Drip Drop. He looks strong as they drive into the turn. Echo Ranger on top, tipping around the turn, and here they come for home. It's Echo Ranger, I've got control. Drip Drop on the outside. Markham's Tech on the extreme outside. They're coming to him. Rates on the outside. Markham's Tech driving on, and here they are. At the line, Markham's Tech to the extreme outside wins it, then Drip Drop and I've Got Control, followed by Tatran Express and Echo Ranger, Portrait of Janus, Sarees Joey, and P.H. Dougie. Time for the mile, 207 and 4. For 10, less than 9 minutes of betting time remaining. And we'd like to congratulate. Starters for the 10th race. They're at the gate, and the gate is moving. We are underway with our 10th dash with eight starters behind the gate approaching the top of the stretch. Twin B John Boy with John Davidson. Armbro Foxy, Doug Beckwith. Sales Convention, Todd Trites. Jig Time Knievel, Wayne Mahar. West Pointer with Roy Dickinson. Provisions to Win, Jill Barrio. Big Dylan, Brian Moore, and No Cara, Steve Mahar. Eight starters for the 10th. Here they come. They're off and leaving the line. Jig Time Knievel goes driving to the front outside as well as West Pointer. Twin B John Boy works to the rail as they drive into that first turn. West Pointer swings wide in that first turn a bit. And Nokara is off stride and back pacing and they race by the eighth pole. Up the back stretch with Twin B John Boy with a two length lead. Jig Time Knievel Armbro Foxy is racing third. West Pointer looks to get to the rail fourth. He does. Then Sales Convention Racing 5th, Provisions to Win, off the rail and moving from 6th, followed by Big Dylan. No Kara now trails, quarter in 30 and 4. Into the turn, Twin B, John Boy on top of length, Jake Time, Knievel and Armbro Foxy. Provisions to Win has worked up to 4th, now 3rd on the outside. Foxy now is 4th as they race by the 3 eighths and tip off the turn through the stretch. And here they come to the half, cutting it out. Twin B, John Boy, Jig Time, Knievel. Outside third is Provisions to Win. Big Dylan follows with cover, moves to fourth on the outside. Then Armbro, Foxy racing fifth. No Kara moving sixth on the outside. Then West Pointer and Sales Convention trails 103 and one past the half. The inquiry sign is up. Into the turn, they race to the 5 eighths with Twin B, John Boy still holding a length lead and they pass the 5 eighths pole with provisions to win at the leader's wheel second. Racing up the back stretch, Jig Time Knievel racing third. 
with twin B John Boy opening up a length and a quarter now. Outside provisions to win and racing third and looking good. It's jig time Knievel, three quarters, 135. Still twin B John Boy. Jig time Knievel back to second, provisions to win, fading third, three wide sales convention. Moving up on the inside is Armbro Foxy. Into the turn, it's Twin B John Boy. Jeek Time Knievel comes out to challenge as they hit the turn through the stretch for home. Twin B John Boy steps out, not going to catch him. Jig Time Knievel, sales convention now third. They're not going to catch the one. Twin B John Boy, and here they are. Twin B John Boy wins it up for second. Sales convention, Jig Time Knievel third. West Pointer Umbro Foxy, no Kara, provisions to win. Big Dillon, time for the mile, 206 and 1. For the 11th race, they're moving in behind the gate. The gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch. We have a field of eight. Akadu with Jill Mario, Eyes the Bye, and Charlie Price. Spook and Jig Time Gord Hennessy, West River again, Brian Moore. Awesome Colors, John Davidson, in Inverness Beauty, Steve Mahar. Omaha Gambler, Lonnie Stokes, and Bounding Basque with Jeff Lewis. Here they come. They're off West River again, quickly off the gate and grabs the top, and I can do racing a second. Inverness Beauty charging up on the outside, drives on to second. Then I can do has a third. Swinging around the turn, West River again. Holding that lead, he's the leader by the eighth pole. Charging up on the outside, Inverness Beauty is second. Up the rail and racing third is Akadu. And off stride, that's Mystic Ideal, and now trailing. They drive on to the quarter where they go by that marker now. By that marker, 30 and 4 fifths, and the leader is Inverness Beauty. West River again racing second. Akadu has a third. Then Omaha Gambler is racing fourth. Then Spook and Jig Time, awesome colors, bounding past, and uh, pulling up, Mystic Ideal. Rise the by, rather, as they come through the stretch and drive on to the half and up on the outside. Akadu comes charging to the top. He is the leader as they go racing on by the half. 102 and four. End of the turn, Akadu, the leader, in Venice Beauty is second. Charging up on the outside, Omaha Gambler. He's winging on third. West River again has a fourth. An awesome color, spook and jig time. Bounding basket, they go to the three-quarter pole. Akadu leading by three. Omaha Gambler charging up a strong second. West River again is now a third. That awesome colors in between horses to fourth and way wide, spook and jig time. Inverness Beauty is fed. 134 and 3 by the three quarter pull. Head of the top turn, the leader is Akadu. Omaha Gambler right there now, second. Awesome Colors working up on the inside comes to third. West River again is now fourth. At the head of the lane, it is Akadu. Akadu leading by two, and then Awesome Colors charging up second. Omaha Gambler right now, third. Spook and Jig Time coming on. I could do Awesome Colors coming on. Going to be tight at the line. Looks like maybe Awesome Colors and I could do that Omaha Gambler Spook and Jig Time.